Okay, well, the Georgian Dragon, you see the pub behind you here, it shut um, about three years ago. Uh, nobody came forward to buy the pub, and so after about nine months, some of us in the village got together and thought, well, perhaps we could, we could do it ourselves. We could find a way which would raise the funds from the village and from other people to, um, to buy the Georgian Dragon and reopen it. Now, it was a long road from having that idea to actually doing it, but uh, to cut that long story short, we formed a cooperative. Um, we sought investment from members. In the first instance, we had about a, a hundred people, um, over half of them from the village, who, who were committed to putting their own money into the cooperative to buy the Georgian Dragon. So we made an offer for it, which was finally accepted, and we reopened it last June. <laughs> the pub's been doing very well, the trade has been good. We've appointed two tenants, Margaret and Jackie, to run it. They're doing a good job and they, are, they pay us a rent which we use to pay our investors a return on their investment. <laughs> well, as well as the pub, we have uh, a shop. We have the library inside the pub. We have allotments at the back of the pub um, which are rent, uh, let out to uh, villages and members of Huddersfield Community Pub Limited. And we have internet access in the pub as well now with a couple of laptops that you can hire. Um, so it's more than a pub, it's a, it's a real centre for, the, for, for, for village life, which is always what we wanted it to be. The shop was first um, muted when the pub was reopened and uh, the pub was opened in June of last year. We opened December um, with major refurbishment to the small area that was um, there. The shop is 10 feet by 9 foot 3, so quite a small space. We were given some help and advice from um, a grocery firm in Leyburn who supplied us initially with our basic stock, which fitted almost to a T perfectly. There were a few cynics then, um, and there always have been actually throughout the whole process who said we couldn't do this, you couldn't buy a pub and run it by a committee, people wouldn't invest. But we've proved them wrong, which has been very gratifying for us who thought we could, thought it would work. And the village has really come together. I mean, uh, the amount of community spirit that's been generated by this project is uh, quite incredible. The amount of voluntary hours that have been put in to renovate the pub and clear the land and so forth, to create the allotments, has also been dramatic. And of course, the shop now, uh, run entirely by volunteers, all of whom get a lot out of it because they spend a couple of hours in the shop meeting their friends and neighbours in the ways they wouldn't be able to do otherwise and providing a service to the village. So the amount of community spirit is generated, as I've said, has been very impressive and it's very gratifying for those of us that set it off um, to see how, how well it's all worked.